Hi, hello, this is Giri. Teaching 9th Mathematics, the chapter Polynomials. Here are the questions and solutions from exercise 2.2 and this is part 2 video. In this video, we will learn the solution of all the bits from question number 3 of exercise 2.2. Here is the chapter Polynomials and this is exercise 2.2 and question number 3. Verify whether given x values in each case are zeros of the given polynomial or not. I shall repeat. Verify whether the given x values in each case are zeros of the given polynomial or not. Let us first of all recollect what is meant by zero of a polynomial. What is meant by zero? Zero is nothing but the value of the variable for which the value of the polynomial becomes 0. For example, given polynomial is x minus 1. In the place of x, if we substitute 1, what will happen? 1 minus 1 is 0. Therefore, in the polynomial x minus 1, if we substitute x is equal to 1, you will get the value of the polynomial 0. Then the value of x is 1, for which the total polynomial becomes 0. Isn't it? Therefore, this 1 is called 0 of the polynomial. You see, 0 of the polynomial is nothing but the value of the variable for which the total polynomial becomes 0. It is 0 of the polynomial. Now, we may be given some 6 to 8 bits in question number 3 and we have to solve them. You see, this is first bit. P of x is equal to 2x plus 1 and given x is equal to minus 1 by 2. In this case, we have given a polynomial to x plus 1 and we have given the value of the variable also here what is the variable x is the variable good now what is x value given x is equal to minus 1 by 2 now we have to check out whether this minus 1 by 2 is a 0 of this polynomial or not now in order to check whether minus 1 by 2 is a 0 or not what to do we have to substitute x is equal to minus 1 by 2 in the place of x, you have to substitute minus 1 by 2 and we have to find the value of the polynomial. If we substitute x is equal to minus 1 by 2, then you get the total polynomial 0. Then you can say that it is the 0 of the polynomial. If we did not get the value of the polynomial 0, then you can say that it is not the 0 of the polynomial. Understood? Good. Now you see, p of, in the place of x, substitute minus 1 by 2. p of minus 1 by 2 is equal to 2 into minus 1 by 2 plus 1. This 2 into 1 time. 1 into minus 1 is minus 1 plus 1. What is minus 1 plus 1? It is 0. Since the value of the polynomial becomes 0 when you substitute minus 1 by 2, so you can say that this minus 1 by 2 is 0 of the polynomial 2x plus 1. Is it clear? Good. Now let us write the same only. Therefore, x is equal to minus 1 by 2 is the 0 of the polynomial p of x. Okay. Now, let us solve second bit. p of x is equal to 5x minus pi. Given value x is equal to minus 3 by 2. Here, this is a polynomial. 5x minus pi. Here, x value is minus 3 by 2 is given. Now, let us check or let us substitute x is equal to minus 3 by 2 and check the value of the polynomial. If the value of the polynomial is 0, then minus 3 by 2 is 0. If the value of the polynomial is not 0 when you substitute x is equal to minus 3 by 2, then minus 3 by 2 is not the 0 of the given polynomial. Is it clear? Good. Now, substitute x is equal to minus 3 by 2. P of minus 3 by 2 is equal to 5 into x means 5 into minus 3 by 2 minus pi. Here, 5 into minus 3 is minus 15 divided by 2 minus pi means 22 by 7. This fraction and this fraction are different, isn't it? Or let us verify by taking the LCM. For 2 and 7, LCM is 2 sevens, 14 is LCM. Minus 15 into 7 is minus 75. 2 into minus 22 is minus 44. Minus 75 minus 44 is minus 119 divided by 14 which is not 0. 
in other words whenever you see this you can straight away say that it is zero because both values are negative if both values are negative then you cannot get zero if one is positive and the second value is negative then only you will get zero isn't it therefore this is not zero this is not equal to zero this value is not equal to zero means in the given polynomial if you substitute x is equal to minus 3 by 2 then the value of the polynomial is not equal to 0 therefore you can say that x is equal to minus 3 by 2 is not a 0 of the polynomial it is not a 0 of the polynomial is it clear now good now let us solve some more bits from the same question question number 3 dear children again the same question number 3 verify whether given x values in each case are zeros of the given polynomial or not. Now here third bit now. P of x is equal to x square minus 1 and given x is equal to plus or minus 1. Means plus value, plus value and minus value also. There are two values for x. x is equal to plus 1 and x is equal to minus 1. Isn't it? First of all let us take x is equal to plus 1. Then P of 1 is equal to 1 square minus 1. 1 square is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. Therefore, P of 1 is equal to 0. You see, in the given polynomial, if we substitute x is equal to plus 1, we got the value of the polynomial 0. Therefore, it is the 0 of the polynomial. You can say. Similarly, substitute x is equal to minus 1. x square means minus 1 whole square and minus 1. Minus 1 whole square is plus 1 minus 1 and 1 minus 1 is also 0. You see, if you substitute x is equal to plus 1, you got 0. If you substitute x is equal to minus 1, again you got 0. In both cases, you got the value of the polynomial 0. Therefore, both these values are the zeros of the polynomial. Therefore, x is equal to plus 1 and x is equal to minus 1 are zeros of the polynomial P of x. Now, fourth bit p of x is equal to x minus 1 into x plus 2 and given x is equal to minus 1 and x is equal to minus 2. We have to verify whether this polynomial is 0 for the two values of x. First value is minus 1 and second value is minus 2. Let us substitute x is equal to first value that is minus 1. First of all, that is p of minus 1 is equal to minus 1 minus 1 into x value minus 1 plus 2. What is minus 1 minus 1? Minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2 into minus 1 plus 2 that is 2 minus 1 is plus 1. Minus 2 into 1 is minus 2 which is not equal to 0. You see the value of the polynomial is not equal to 0 when you substitute x is equal to minus 1. Therefore this minus 1 is not a 0 of the polynomial. Now let us verify what will happen if x is equal to minus 2. P of minus 2 is equal to minus 2 minus 1 into x value minus 2 plus 2. Isn't it? x value is minus 2 minus 1 into x value is minus 2 plus 2. What is minus 2 minus 1? Minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3 into minus 2 plus 2 is 0. Minus 3 into 0 is 0. You see, if we substitute x is equal to minus 2, then the value of the polynomial becomes 0. So, minus 2 is a 0 of the polynomial and minus 1 is not a 0 of the polynomial, isn't it? Therefore, minus 1 is not a 0 because P of minus 1 is not 0. And minus 2 is a 0 because P of minus 2 is 0 of the given polynomial. Good. Now, again the same question, we will solve some more bits from the same question. Question number 3, verify whether the given x values in each case are zeros of the given polynomial or not. Here is the sixth bit. P of x is equal to ax plus b given x is equal to minus b by a. We are given the polynomial ax plus b and the value of the x is equal to minus b by a. We have to verify whether minus b by a is a zero of this polynomial. For that, substitute x is equal to minus b by a. p of minus b by a is equal to a into minus b by a plus b. Isn't it? Now, this a in a one time, 
1 into minus b is minus b plus b. What is minus b plus b? Minus b plus b is 0. Therefore, if we substitute x is equal to minus b by a in the given polynomial, we got the value of the polynomial 0. Therefore, minus b by a is 0 of the given polynomial p of x. Isn't it? Therefore, x is equal to minus b by a is a 0 of the polynomial p of x. Next question number 7. f of x is equal to 3x square minus 1 given x is equal to minus 1 by root 3 and 2 by root 3. Here, f of x is equal to 3x square minus 1 and we have given two x values. One x value is minus 1 by root 3 and second x value is plus 2 by root 3. We have to verify whether these two are the zeros of the given polynomial or not. For that, substitute x is equal to minus 1 by 3. f of minus 1 by root 3 is equal to 3 into minus 1 by root 3 whole square minus 1. This is 3 into minus 1 whole square is plus 1 by root 3 whole square is 3. And this is minus 1. This 3 in 3 one time 1 into 1 is 1 minus 1. What is 1 minus 1? 1 minus 1 is 0. In the place of x if we substitute minus 1 by root 3 then the value of the polynomial becomes 0. Since the value of the polynomial becomes 0 then minus 1 by root 3 is 0 the given polynomial. Now let us verify with 2 by root 3 now. f of 2 by root 3 is equal to 3 into x square that is 3 into 2 by root 3 whole square and minus 1. 2 square here it is a fraction fraction whole square is nothing but numerator whole square by denominator whole square. 2 whole square 2 square is 4 by root 3 whole square is 3. 3 into 4 by 3 minus 1. This 3 in 3 one time 1 into 4 is 4 minus 1 and 4 minus 1 is plus 3 which is not equal to 0 isn't it we got the value of the polynomial which is equal to 3 when you substitute x is equal to 2 by root 3 this is not equal to 0 if it is equal to 0 then it is the 0 of the polynomial since it is not equal to 0 then 2 by root 3 is not the 0 of the given polynomial therefore minus 1 by root 3 is a 0 because this is 0 is 0 and 2 by root 3 is not a 0 of the given polynomial f of x is it clear very good now dear children all the video links of introduction to the chapter polynomials and all the questions and solutions from exercise 1 and exercise 2 are given in the description you can click the video link and you can observe the video and you can understand what are polynomials and what are the solutions of the different questions from the chapter polynomials. Thank you. Thank you one and all.